Alleluia. 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 Heaven is our goal. Victory is for us. Alleluia song will never say so I'm out in Jesus' name. Amen. Good morning. Happy New Day. Happy Sunday. October 16, 2022. This is Love Word. Taking you open heaven. A guide to a close fellowship with God. The topic before this morning is fear God. Fear God. Before we proceed, let's pray. Father, we bless you. We appreciate you. We thank you for giving us the grace. We thank you for giving us the power to fear you more. And we thank you for your salvation in our life. As we are going in this program today, bless us, Lord. Guide us. Give us wisdom and understanding. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. A memory fast and we find the book of Job 28, verse 28. I read, And unto man he said, Behold, the fear of the Lord, that is the wisdom, and to depart from evil is understanding. I have heard some funny theory concerning the fear of God. Some people believe that when the Bible says fear God, it doesn't really mean that you should fear Him. It actually means that you should just ignore him. I don't know which Bible they are reading, but my Bible says, Fear God, period. Hebrew 20, 12, verse 29 says, That is a consuming fire who is not afraid of fire. Even a mad dog, when he sees fire, will run. The Bible says in Proverbs 1, verse 17, that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but full despise reason and instruction. The Bible first about is saying that if there is altar of wisdom in you at all, you will fear this God. Thus, if you see someone who doesn't fear God, yet claiming to be wise, is only deceiving himself. Now my question to you is, do you fear God? I want you to think about that question very well before you answer. Do you really fear God? If you truly fear Him, you will not be disobeying His commandments. Proverbs 3 verse 17 says, Be not wise in their own eyes, fear the Lord, and depart from evil. The moment you dip your hand into sin, you are telling God that you don't fear Him, that you are wise in your own eyes. It may look as if God is powerless. Now, because you committed a sin and it did not it did nothing, but I advise you to stop it because his wrath for sinner is high. In Romans 1 verse 18 says, For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. Don't be among fools who have chosen not to fear God. You have to be wise. You want God to share your secrets with you. You want to afford God's wrath. Fear Him and show this in your complete and prompt obedience to His word. Our key point for today, if you have any altar of wisdom at all, you will fear God and stay away from sin henceforth. If you have any altar of wisdom at all, you will fear God and stay away from sin henceforth. Brethren, I want us to read the book of Psalm 25 verse 14 and our Bible in one year. Matthew 23, verse 24. Our hymn is hymn 19, 
or worship the king all glorious above or worship the king all glorious above let's pray father we thank you for the grace given us to finish this program today as we are going in this week father bless this week for us make this week one of the best out of our life and let us have a mouth to glorify your name at the end of the day in jesus name amen brethren this is love word till i come your way tomorrow don't forget my usual saying subscribe share and like and god bless you massively as you are doing so have a nice day and bye for now don't forget to go to church what god cannot do does not exist bye for now